Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. We're going to tie a bubble back midge in this video. Also uh, called a bead wing vit midge. It uses a glass bead for kind of a, a, a gas bubble on the back of the, the thorax or the top of the thorax. I've got a curved size 18 scud hook here. You could use a 2457, 2487, uh, Daiichi 1120, any number of options out there. And I'm going to use ADOT Semperfly Classic Wax Thread. Start the thread behind the eye. You could tie this in any number of colors. I'm just doing kind of a classic black version. Now I've got a glass bead that is threaded on a piece of um, doubled over 100 denier gel spun thread. You could use um, some other types of heavy duty threads or dental floss I've even seen used before but I had this on the bench so it was easier than going and digging up something different and all I've got is a size small pearlescent glass bead threaded on it and actually slipped off on me there it goes and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold that over so I've got a loop with that bead on it. I can tie that in right where my thread is. I want to be about a third of the way behind the eye. Just kind of stand that bead up by tying on behind it. Then I can trim out that thread. And then we'll tie in a wire rib, and it's going to be copper small wire. I'll lay my wire right where that junction is between that tie-off point, so I don't get too bulky of a, a thorax there. I'm going to go just to, back to the bend, just about where the, the barb is, if it wasn't hidden behind the the jaws of the vise there. Go back forward, just nice neat wraps covering up everything that's tied in beneath it. Then we can do a few ribs with the wire. Tie that off. And I'll put some pressure on the thread just by holding it up and wiggling that wire till it till it breaks. Now you could finish the fly just with thread, but I'm going to do a little bit of black dubbing around the around the bead. Caught lots of fish without dubbing around it, but you can just fill out that thorax a little bit. I'm going to use some black rabbit dubbing. You're not going to need a whole lot. So start with the little and you can always add more. And dub it pretty tight. You could also use a like a fine dry fly dubbing, like a black super fine dubbing. If you wanted something a little bit finer. And then we're just going to dub around the base of that bead. That one little hair there, guard hair that we can pluck out. And then we're going to whip finish. We're done with the fly, so we can sneak in and do a quick whip finish. And then trim out our thread. And then we've Got a bead wing midge. Really effective little pattern with that gas bubble on the back. And we've caught thousands of fish on these. And typically tie them in olive or black or brown, but you know, you can make them any color that you want. Gray is another great color uh, for this pattern. And you know, just mix and match um, your thread colors, wire colors, and come up with endless combinations. But the Beadwing Midge has been a, a top producer for us here as well as throughout the West. 
So definitely tie some up and uh, go catch some fish.